Hey, if you know, you know. Hey, King Sid, you been getting exposed. I've been waiting for Smooth Geo to respond and say something. So he just dropped this. We gonna react to it. Hey, man. Say, man. I am in shock, bro. Like, I am in complete shock. Like, I'm just like, like, wow, bro. Wow. Like, that's all I have to say. Like, wow, fam. Wow. So let me tell you guys, if you guys haven't been caught up with the tube recently, you know what I'm saying? I have watched Nate's video. I have watched Kali Kid's video. Jeff, I, I've been seeing everything. I, I've seen Sid drop a video. I've seen a whole bunch of stuff going on. You know, I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna get into this at all. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my own thing. I've been, you know what I'm saying, distancing myself from any drama, any mess, stuff like that. But what really got me was when I seen this video. No, I know y'all remember when the whole Smooth Geo, King Sid thing happened where they got cool back again, right? King Sid is telling me, don't edit for him. Don't work with him. Pretty much saying, just fuck Geo, focus on me. Ooh, and I'm shit. like, bro, like, how are you telling oh. Sid, Sid moving real grimy. Like, yo, bro, this type, like, there's some snake shit, bro. For real, for real. Snake shit. I need to not work with Gio if you guys are about cool. Like, it doesn't make no sense. It was nothing that happened in that. It was genuine. It was just Sid trying to make views, trying to get back up to where he was before. And he's telling bro, but I need to get my channel back up. I need to get everything back up again. Um, I need people to watch my videos, blah, blah, blah. But the whole time, he did not care about Gio as a person. The only thing he was caring about Just was the damn views and his YouTube channel. Now, let me tell you guys. Now, I had a whole bunch of like fans, everybody's in my DMs. They're sending me this video from an editor that recently worked with both me and Sid. You know what I'm saying? He was editing both of our videos and stuff like that. Now, what threw me off in this video, I'm, I'm watching the video and I'm like, the editor goes to saying like, Sid told the editor not to edit for me. I even gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, let me go ahead. And so he said, I asked both of them to clarify. He said, King Sid said, well, all right, bet. So Smooth Geo sent the vid. He said, damn fam, like that. That's how, that's flawed, bro. He said, that's around when we wasn't cool. Of course, I didn't want bro to edit for me and you if we not cool. Bro said, you capping. Don't know what else to tell you. Just do what you feel like doing, bro. I don't even got time. I don't even got the energy to prove myself to anyone. Okay, so then the editor said, "Cat, he just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want you posting." He said, "Cat, he just doesn't want you posting." Wow, that's crazy, bro. Doesn't, bro, doesn't make sense that I was, that I was to acting weird to you. I cut off Avery because of him. <laughs> Shit. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Before I, you know what I'm saying? Before I take matters into my own hands, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask him. So I asked him, I said, damn, fam, like that? That's flawed, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then he said, that's around the time we weren't cool. Of course I didn't want him to edit for you. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I sent it to the editor and I, I'm like, yo, is this true? The editor proceeds to say that shit is cap. He says he just doesn't want you to post. Wow. Damn. That shit crazy. As you guys know, me and Sid had our beef, you know what I'm saying? He, he he wanted to get back cool with me. We got back cool. You know, I thought he changed, you know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, it, it's been two years, everything like that. I thought he changed and stuff like that, but I guess not, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice. You know, I can't put the blame on this, man. You know what I'm saying? I should have been more aware. You know what I'm saying? But basically, the editor basically goes on to play i'm gonna play the clip as well but the go editor goes on to say that sid really just wanted to get cool with me to get his views back up and he also was telling the editor not to edit for me and that was that was so uh, it's just so crazy because i'm like wow like now i know why editors taking so long to edit my videos now i know why i can't get a video out to you guys like you know what I'm saying? Everything is just, my whole process is delaying. Like, my money's being sabotaged. My channel's being sabotaged. Everything is being sabotaged. And it's just like, you would think, you wouldn't think it's like a person that is in your circle. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying I'm best friends with him now and stuff like that. But, you know what I'm saying? We used to be tight and stuff. And, you know, we had our fallout, our whole situation and stuff like that. And it's just like, 
he wanted to get back cool with me. He kept, mind you, when he was trying to get back cool with me, he was telling me like, yo, like, bro, when I tell you he was blowing up my phone, you guys, Sid was blowing up my Yo, <laughs> they got the receipts, bro. He <laughs> said, but you made me look bad on social media when you could spoke to me behind closed doors. My bad, I fell asleep. And you definitely were. I could have spoke to you, but you got to understand it was a weird moment. But when I done got into fights and issues with all my brothers, you, you got to know things in life don't happen when no one died. No one killed. And I feel like don't let that moment affect what's in front of us. So I have gotten into fights with my brothers as well. The truth of our situation could have been a joke. I had big business issues. Didn't have a run. You should have called me before any of that went down. You could can't let your emotions take control of your business, man. At the end of the day, all due respect, you affected my business and what I got going on. Damn. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, he really blown up his phone. Damn, shit is really coming to light, bro. He getting exposed, for real. This is bad. Said you tripping. Phone. I'm talking about like, yo, you ever had like a stalker girlfriend or someone that was just a stalker just blew up your whole iMessage, blew up your whole message list and was just like, yo, 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 bro, let's get back cool. Like he was just on it and then he was just like pressing, like he wanted to get back cool. He wanted to do a video and stuff like that. And I, at first I'm like, nah, bro, like what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like after everything this man done did, like, bro, like I can't. Bro, we just did some so much shit. It wouldn't even feel right. It wouldn't be right, bro. After all that, bro, and you want to just link up out the blue like that? That shit don't make sense. He shit so much snaky shit, and I was just like, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? It took a while for me to really think about it and just squash it. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, you know, I've grown as a person. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting older now. I just I developed into a better person. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to forgive and stuff like that. So eventually. I, you know, I, I took time to think about it. I took several days to think about it. And I, I finally forgave him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, man, it was just like he just kept trying to get back cool, kept trying to get back cool. And then he insisted we did a video. Now, mind you, at the time, Sid's numbers weren't looking that well. You know what I'm saying? His numbers were kind of looking, like, shaky. His views were looking shaky, stuff like that. And um, he just wanted to do a video. He was just like, oh, let's do a video. So I'm like... Okay, maybe we can do a sit-down video, you know what I'm saying? Me and you can sit down, we can talk about everything. And he was just like, nah, we don't need to do a sit-down video. I'm like, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do a sit-down video, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you want to talk about everything, you know what I'm saying? But now I know after all the information that I'm hearing that you really just got back cool with me to grow your views and just grow your thought, like, not in a genuine way, bro. Whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, wow, okay, maybe do change, maybe do, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we can just squash this, come back together and just do, you know, great things again. But the whole time it was for like a not genuine reason, you know, it was just to get his views back up. And I'm just like, wow, like me personally, like I can't like, I have to stand on like morals and certain type of respect, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't just like fake the funk, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he just kept pressing me, let's do a video. He didn't want to do a sit-down video. He wanted to do, like, one of his little smash fast videos. I'm saying, all right, cool, we can do that. We did it. Boom, numbers started getting well, you know what I'm saying? But I can't say, I mean, my numbers started getting well as well, you know what I'm saying? That's what you guys wanted to see. That's what the everyone wanted to see. They wanted to see us get back cool and just, you know, it was, it was a great thing, you know? It was something great to see. But whole time, it was just, it just wasn't genuine, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did a couple videos. I, I, that shit was fake from the whole time, bro. I mean, if you think about it, Gio was probably the one that was real genuine. Like you said, he forgave him. He was already like, yo, we gonna squash this. But then Sid, on the other hand, bro, had a hidden agenda where he was only thinking about himself. I hopped in some of his videos, his numbers grew. And then now I realized it, that now that I come to thinking, I'm like, after he grew his numbers, like, I really stopped hearing from bro. Like, and I was just mm. like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, at first, it was just like, bro, it was consistent. I'm like, yo, we need to do a video. We need to do a video. Now, when his numbers got up, it was like, ghosted I you. stopped hearing from him. That you know what I'm saying? Ghosted you. And it was just like, okay. And then now I hear this. You're telling the editor not to work with me. You're telling, 
you know, this person not to do this with me, not to do that. I mean, for what, bro? Like, whole time, like, I've always wanted to see you win, bro. Like, I was there for you from the very beginning, bro. Like, back when you were working at a call center, bro, before you even started YouTube, you know? See, we were tight. He never started YouTube. He was like, he told me and Nate, he said, yo, I want to start YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Me being the real nigga I am, I said, okay, bet. Boom. I went to his house. I created his YouTube channel. I set up everything, made sure... Boom, I helped him. I recorded his first YouTube video. You know, I taught him how to edit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm helping him out. Every video he drops, I'm promoting it. Boom. I helped him kickstart his career. You know what I'm saying? And so for, for, for you to just say, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because he said in the past, I, I don't want to see him win. I, I, I really don't know where he got that from. Because if I didn't want to see you win, I would have never helped you from the very beginning. You feel me? So it's like, from everything from way back, all the snaky, slimy stuff, you know, and then now we got back cool for just the wrong reasons, bro. When whole time, I, I, I really thought, bro, changed, bro. But then it's just like certain stuff, even too, when we got back cool, was just throwing me off a little bit. You know, it's like he wanted me to get cool with his friends, but he could never get cool with my friends. Like, he basically wanted me to say, like, nah, like, fuck them boys. Like, hang with me and my crew. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, how do you want me to say, fuck my friends, hang with your crew, but you can't, you can't do the same thing and fuck with my people's as well, you know what I'm saying, I feel like it should be like a, a equal thing, you know what I'm saying, but I guess this whole thing was just to grow his subscribers, grow, I guess get to three mil, you know what I'm saying, get it fast, like use me to get back cool, get those views up, boom, and then just try to pass me, I don't know, get it three mil, I don't even know, and I just like, wow, that's just like, it's, it's crazy to me, you know what I'm saying, and another thing that threw me off was, I was supposed to go to ATL to collab with some YouTubers. It was Unghetto, Avery, Booba, Bentley. Um, I'm not sure if it was someone else as well. But I was supposed to go to ATL. I told Sid, I said, yo, bro, slide to ATL with me, bro. We finna collab with blah, 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 blah. This, you know what I'm saying? Let's make it a whole big thing. He was just like, nah, I ain't going to ATL, man. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as he sees me about to do this thing with all these boys, he's just like, Man, I'm coming to ATL, bro. Be ready, bro. Let's do our shit, bro. Let's crush them boys. Let's do our own shit, man. Fuck them boys. Don't do no video with them boys. Fuck that video. Yeah, Let's do our right. own shit, man. I'm coming to ATL. Let's take over that shit, man. Florida, take over, man. Fuck them boys. Don't do nothing with them boys. But I'm just like, damn, nah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I already gave my word to all them boys. I told them, I said, I said. Yo, I can't switch up now. Like, yo, you really want me to rock with you and tell them, nah, I can't do it no more. And at the end of the day, it's only going to help you. Like, it might help me a little bit, but I'm really losing in the back. Like, I'm really losing. Like, there's no win for me at all. From Gio's point of view, you got to look where he's coming from. So, like, I get why he said nah to say because I can't switch. Do the video with you, you know what I'm saying? I already had everything confirmed. So, just because you tell me not to do a video with them, like... No, nah, bro, like, I already gave them my word, like, I'm gonna keep it real, like, you know what I'm saying, I gave you my word, I'm gonna do the shit, you know what I'm saying, but he was just like, nah, fuck that, all that, so mind you, as we go to ATL, this man comes to ATL, comes to my video shoot, basically sabotages my whole video shoot, you know what I'm saying, and the video never got dropped, you know what I'm saying, you guys have never seen that video, because the video got fucked up, you know what I'm saying, and that shit, it was just like, that shit threw me off, I'm like, bro, like, why do you feel the need to like be in control? You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you don't, it's like if you don't agree with. Like a dictator, bro. Like he really trying to control shit. Like he running shit. It's it's only him and him only. Nobody else. Him on what he wants, he gets mad. You know what I'm saying? He 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 catches the fit. You know what I'm saying? Everything must be his way and like his own way. Like on some dictatorship. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. like I see why the name is King Sid. Like he wants to be. That king, he wants to be in control of everything, you know what I'm saying? He wants to rule everything. Everyone must listen to him, must bow down to him. And it's just like, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> this, this video from this editor really left me in shock because I'm like, wow, like, this really makes sense. Like, this is why my videos are taking so long to get edited, you know what I'm saying? And, like, right now, I currently don't have an editor. I've been trying to look for one. You know, I also have other businesses on the side I've been taking care of, so... That low-key, like, slowed me down a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's bad enough from way back when we were beefing the first time. He basically sabotaged my image. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. there's there's times on the internet, like, you know, like, he kind of, like, made himself seem like he's so genuine. 
and I'm the snaky guy when the whole time is like, I've never done anything flaw or snaky or slimy, anything like that to you before, bro. Like, I was there from the very beginning, bro. I helped you from the very, very beginning. Like, I always wanted to see you win, fam. And for you, like, I wonder, like, what have I done to you? You know what I'm saying? To make you feel like, like, why you want to slime me out? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure everybody good. You feel me? But I guess, you know what I'm saying? His whole thing is just, he wants to be at the top. You know what I'm saying? He will slime anybody out to get to the top. And that's just like, that's not the right way to move, bro. Like, now he's just burned so many bridges, bro. He's burned bridges with me, Nate, Kala Kid, Jeff, Suave, everybody in his whole crew to even influencers, bro. Like, he's been burning so many bridges and it was like, bro, that's not the way to move, bro. Like, you got to be genuine, bro. Like, that's... Back, yo, that's his downfall, bro. I'm telling you, that's his downfall. That's going to be his downfall, bro. Nobody's going to want to work with him. Bro, he's going to be dolo and then he's going to try to, like, fix things and it's going to be too late. All that, like, trying to play, like, all that fake love, trying to be genuine cool first just to get to where you want it. Like, bro, that shit is, like, it's not real, bro. I, I can't fake the funk, fam. Like, I can't do it. It's just, like, I can't just pretend to just, like, fake fuck with someone to just, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you know it just, ugh, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't just, if I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. I can't be around you. Like, I can't just fake fuck with somebody to just, like, for the wrong reasons, just don't sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? He basically kind of like tried to manipulate the internet to make it seem like I'm this too prideful, too bougie person that like, oh, Gio's just so prideful, so bougie. Like, he don't want to do everything. Like, he says, like, Gio's so bougie when the whole time is just like, bro, that's that's you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're the prideful one, fam. Like, you know, it's just like whole time too, I remember when we were beefing, like, he used to tell me when we used to be cool, like, oh, I'm follow this person, I'm follow that person, I'm follow this person, woo, woo, woo. And then when we were beefing, it's like, the same people he told me to unfollow, he starts following everybody. He starts following over a thousand people just to make these people feel like he fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He makes them feel like he fucks with them. And now that his views are back up, he's where he wants to be, his shit is doing good. It's like, he don't follow everybody again. You know what I'm saying? He made people think that he fucks with them, but then he goes back to unfollow them again. Like, whole time, he's the bougie. I mean, I, you are a smart snake. I, I, I can give you that, man. But that's not the right way. <laughs> hey, to... You are a smart snake. Hey, yo. Ooh, bro. Nah. Like, that shit's not, like, it's not cool. You feel me? Like, and then it also hurt me when, when, we, when we were beefing because... The whole time is like he was doing all this snaky shit. I never did anything to him. Like Sid knows I never slept with his ex. I've never done any of that. He knows that, but he still portrayed that to the social media. He still pushed that out to the social media to make my image look bad, to sabotage my image, and to basically make him look good. And for I, I don't know why he would do that. I, I really don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess it's because I was distancing myself because they were having a lot of drama. Like, bro, like. You want to sabotage my image now because of that? Because I want to, like, I don't want to be messy and stuff like that, bro? Like, it's not it's not cool, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he knows I never slept with his ex. He knows I never done anything like that. And for you to just, like, not snake me once, but snake me twice, bro? Twice? It's like, damn, bro. Like, I really, like, I really can't trust you at all no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I can forgive you, but I just can't forget, bro. And I just can't, like, I guess that's why, like, you guys, that's why you guys don't see us around together, bro. It's like, you know, he got what he wanted from me, you know. He, we reconnected. He got his shit butt back buzzing, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I haven't heard from bro like that, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And the crazy thing is, it's like, I just went to this man's house last week. Like, last week, I went to his house to drop off some clothes from Play Benchy. Shout out Play Benchy, but... I went to go drop him off, like, some clothes so he can wear, you know what I'm saying, look fresh. I know he's on tour and stuff like that. I went to his house to drop off some clothes. Whole time, you been snaking me on the back end, bro. Like, that shit, like, damn, dog. Like, that shit crazy, fam. Like, hey, just now, hey, everybody's waking up. They starting to see. So, like, Nate, Kyle Kid, Gio, his editor, you think about it, right? Nate and Smooth Geos was his day ones. And now, fast forward, he's snaking his day ones. He's just doing anything right now for the clout, 
for the views, you know, just to make it seem like he's winning. But to be honest with you, he's not winning. I didn't think, like, I, I really thought, like, shit was good, you know what I'm saying? But I guess that's just, you know, some people just never change. I mean, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm appalled. I'm flabbergasted, you know what I'm saying? I'm flabbergasted, fam, you know what I'm saying? And when we were beefing the first time, like, it kind of hurt me when everyone in the circle was just on his side, because I'm like, damn, like, like that's your, imagine you don't do something to somebody, they've been doing something sneaky, and then everyone's on that person's side, you know what I'm saying? This is like, damn, that shit hurt. But I'm glad that Nate, Jeff, all of them boys, I'm, I'm glad they got to see the true colors. I'm glad, I mean, hey man, what's done in the dark will always come to the light, man. But I'm not gonna lie, I feel bad for you, Jeff. Because for Sid to spit in your face, fam, that was a slap in the face, bro. I'm, that was just, wow. Like, he spit in your face, fam? That's that's tough for someone to be like <laughs> a day one. Like mind you, Jeff been around since like before I even met Sid. Before any of us, like Jeff and Sid were neighbors, fam. So for Sid to spit in Jeff's face, fam, or something so pet. Like imagine a nigga just spit in your face, like what the fuck, like, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's wow, bro. And that's just crazy. But I'm glad you guys, mm. Nate, Jeff, all you, all you boys, man. I'm glad you guys got to see it for yourself. To know I'm not tripping and I'm not a problem, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not a problem, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, that's just how life has to work. Sometimes people have to experience stuff with their own eyes for them to know and for them to learn, you know what I'm saying? And that's just life. And yeah, man, that's that's crazy that I found out everything that I found out. But it's okay though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not I'm not gonna let that stop me. Yes, like. He has sabotaged my image. He has done all this. Like, bro, he slowed up my money. He slowed up my channel. Slowed up a lot of things for me, but... God sees everything. So, over time, you might think Sid is winning right now, but in the long run, in the long run, Nate, Kyle Kid, uh, Gio, his editor, they're going to be winning, bro. Trust me. Sid is going to lose. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm with God, you know what I'm saying? And I know if I... If I stay down with God, I stay, you know what I'm saying, connected, bro, nothing can ever go wrong, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm good. So, At the end of the day, you guys don't have to feel sorry for me, you know what I'm saying? But at least, you know what I'm saying, this got out to the world. You guys get to see the true colors, the the true everything, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, man, I'm, shit, I'm, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my, no, I'm I ain't gonna do that, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs>